Hey guys, and in today's video, let's take a look at 3-Way 2.0, which is an updated official accessory from GoPro. So 3-Way 2.0 is in fact like a 3-in-1 product because you can use it as a camera grip, extendable selfie stick, or as a simple tripod. So without further ado, let's take a look what we have inside. All right, so this is what we have inside of the package, and this is the 3-Way 2.0 and a lanyard. So now, let's take a closer look at the 3-Way 2.0 and see what's new about it. So right at the bat, you can notice that the 3-Way 2.0 has a mounting base for your camera. So if you have a quick release mounting buckle, you can attach and disattach your camera and swap it between your accessories with the same mount. And this is in fact quite a nice improvement because you don't have to mess up with a time screw each and every single time uh, whenever you want to take out your camera or swap it between other accessories. And if you take a closer look at the bottom of this accessory, you will notice that there is a bolt joint that rotates in 360 degrees motion. So if you want to adjust your camera to uh, portrait orientation or horizontal orientation with this bolt joint, you can easily do that. Now, if you take a closer look on the other side of this accessory, you'll notice that there is a locking mechanism. So if you want to freely move your mounting base, all you have to do is simply unlock it, move it to the desired position that you want, whether it's gonna be portrait orientation or horizontal orientation, and once you're happy with it, you just lock it. It also comes with a short adjustable lanyard. So if you want to tighten it up or loosen it, you can do that with this button. Though I think that uh, the opening is quite uh, small. So if you have a thick jacket, I think it might be a problem. Anyway, having something like that is always a nice feature to have because when you wrap it around your wrist, then even if you accidentally drop your camera out of your hand, uh, you will simply protect your camera from losing or damaging it. So it's a really nice bonus and extra peace of mind to have because the previous version didn't have it and you had to buy it separately. So as I mentioned before, three-way can be used as a good camera grip. So if you don't want to touch your camera when you are recording your video, this handle can give you a solid grip. But if you take a closer look at it now, 3-Way can in fact unfold to a small tripod. This way you can set up your camera ideally on a flat surface, record a time lapse or simply take a photo with it. Just bear in mind that 3-Way is simply not the most stable tripod out there on the market. So uh, just make sure that you use it on a flat surface. And honestly, I feel like this is a really nice improvement that the tripod is built in as a handle because in the previous generation, um, the tripod was hidden underneath of the handle. You had to unscrew it, flip it around and screw it again. So it was quite messy. Now, once we close our tripod, notice that we have two knobs to unlock the extension arm. Now, normally when you record a video with a traditional selfie stick, you kind of always have the selfie stick completely visible in your video. No matter what you do, it's gonna be always there. Now, the trick with three-way is that it has a bending extension arm. So you can actually bend it and get rid of it uh, in, in your shot. Let me quickly show you how it looks like. So 
So this is how it looks like when you bend the extension arm of your three-way. Notice that the selfie stick is completely gone out of your video and it's simply missing. But the thing is that uh, three-way is actually not that very long selfie stick. When, you, when it's fully extended, it's actually like 50 centimeters long and when you bend it, it's even shorter. So once again, this is how it looks like when the three-way is fully extended. Notice that the selfie stick is visible in the shot. And this is how it looks like when I bend the extension arm of my three-way. Notice that the selfie stick is completely gone from my shot. You cannot see it. And this way, the video simply looks more professional and it simply looks better. Another quite an interesting design is that these two knobs are not removable. So if you are going to mess around with it a lot, for example loosen it or tighten it up a lot, you are not going to lose it. But I want to be honest with you guys, even though I unlocked both of these knobs all the way to the left, I really have a strange feeling that uh, the whole movement is really stiff. And uh, it's really not smooth. And I don't know why they did it this way. I have a really strange feeling like I'm going to break this thing sooner or later. So I don't know if they did it because Hero 9 Black is a heavy camera and they simply decided to make it a little bit more sturdy. But uh, I think if I'm not gonna be careful enough, I can break it. I only hope something like that is not gonna happen because if you take a closer look in here, uh, the plastic is quite thick. Also in here and uh, on this joint. I also feel like having this lanyard attached somewhere to the middle of a selfie stick is simply not the smartest way because if you wrap it around your wrist, if you want to have that grip, simply it's getting in the way. So I think that attaching a lanyard to the bottom will be simply a better choice. So there you have it. This accessory is quite pricey as it costs around $70. But if you are a GoPro Plus subscriber, you can get it for 30% off on official GoPro website. But in any local store, it's gonna cost you 70 bucks. GoPro 3-way 2.0 can be quite a useful accessory, especially if you are starting out, you don't have many accessories with you, or you simply prefer to travel light. All right guys, so what do you think about the 3-way 2.0? Honestly, I think that having three accessories in one is really great. It's still gonna get the job done. However, as a tripod, for example, it's not gonna be the most stable one. Or if you use it as a selfie stick, it's not gonna be simply the longest selfie stick out there. All right guys, so for today's video, that's gonna be that's it. If you liked that content and you enjoyed it and you learned something from it, then give me a thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't before, smash that notification button so you don't miss my future content and see you in the next one. Bye.